that day. And then he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. In today's video, I create my own version of Binging with Babish's Roast Beast from the Grinch who stole Christmas, including parts where I even burned some of the food in ways that seem too crazy to mention right away. Watch till the end to find out because I am an algorithmic genius due to my mostly child audience. Don't forget to use your parents credit card to buy Mr. Beast bars, like the one I bought from my local Walmart where they were all broken and thrown around the shelves. Anyways guys, you may be thinking, oh the first step is to clearly just eat the Mr. Beast bar, but no, I cannot eat it until I've completed the melding and artistic process that is this wonderful series of parody video. We will instead be using this spreadable 89 cent can of various salted meats. The Feastable Bar took up most of the available budget on this video. You may even call me an extreme coupon or carefully extract your pasty meat from its morsel with your expensive cutting utensils and show off your bountiful harvest to the camera for all to see. Be sure not to make any mess of the plate being used, otherwise our presentation will just be tarnished and the dish will need to be started over from scratch. After carefully placing a precisely measured portion, you will want to score your meat to give it a classic look of the expensive and unattainable turkey that Babish used on his channel. Show off your perfect score job because you're cooler than you think you are and pull out a lethal weapon on people only over the age of 18 can buy in the United States. Next you're going to want to commit arson at your local- Sorry about that, it looks like those lines were recorded by my twin brother. Don't have time or budget to go back and change that so we're just going to leave it as is. Be sure to complete the scent test when you are burning this potted meat with your butane lighter, getting as many fumes as you can to assure the scent is that of burnt toast. Something everyone smells so often, right? Right? After showing off your wrapped chocolate, crack open that Feastables bar, and cracking open for me in this case means pouring the broken scrapped Walmart remains out, leaving a slurry of chocolate shavings everywhere. Break off a sensibly sized portion of the bar and very carefully place it on your scored beast. Everyone knows it's not a traditional roast beast without the authentic Feastables Mr. Beast chocolate bar, only five ingredients. Take your familiar torch and do not burn your hand. Scorch the top of your chocolate like Ned Flanders does in the Simpsons movie, but who are we kidding? His drink looks like liquid swill compared to this fine creation. Everyone knows it wouldn't be a binging with Axis video without the without the cross. I guess there will be no cross section as Mr. Beast has definitely made the world's most unmeltable chocolate bar and I definitely didn't make any user error in the process. Describing the immaculate taste does not do this dish justice as this flavor combination simply meld in your mouth easier than any other flavor combination you have ever had. I felt like Remy from that rat movie with a Mr. Crocker food reviewer. You know, the one that felt nostalgic about rat poop in his soup. I could not recommend this dish more, however it did not join the clean plate club as Babish Culinary Universe has taken my leftovers in a class action suit. 